<laughs> it is about integrity, but the New York Times has this article, and they've exposed this scam, they're calling it, where people are paying folks in India and in Africa to write the essays for their children. I, I know, but again, I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all. The game is rigged from day one. Barry Norman, he's a former college admission advisor. Barry, where are you? Oh, Bear, she, pardon me, I'm so sorry. Barry, I met your husband backstage. Come on, go. Um, Barry, come down here and tell us. I, I'm skeptical about it. I don't know if Felicity Huffman or anybody should go to jail for this because I, I will stand on it. The system is so broken and kids are not getting a fair shot. And I, I just don't know the solution here. I think it's it's such a complex issue um, because the system is rigged from day one, right? Where you're born and with a family you're born into determines a whole lot. We know that. Um, we're all upset about this. Whether or not this is a jail time kind of offense, um, it's still incredibly egregious. It's frustrating. Um, it's infuriating mm -hmm. at best. And so what we hope is that we can find better solutions and hopefully the colleges can come up with some of those. So this amazing woman brought up the point of morals and using your moral compass, but is it illegal? What, what Felicity Huffman did, yes. was it illegal? Well, that, that, is a, that, is a, that is a legal question. Um, the essays, I the should essays. say. No, because we know what, she, she's pled guilty, so clearly she knows she did something illegal. As it relates to the New York Times article and the people who are paying for the essays um, to be delivered to their children's yeah. teachers. Uh, this is not illegal. It is unethical. Mm -hmm. It is it is not illegal. So students might get caught. Yeah. Um, they might get suspended. They may get an F. They may get thrown before an honor board in front of uh, their college. And if there's multiple offenses, they may be thrown out. I am, full disclosure, on the board of trustees at Temple University. I see a lot now as a board of trustees versus when I was a student getting, I, I had every loan, Pell Grant loan, Super Grant loan. <laughs> Listen, if, the, if there was a loan attached to it, I had to get it to go through school. But what are universities doing? Because again, going back to the game as I refer to it, the universities are setting these standards and a kid in rural Texas may be smart as a whip, but if they have no access to some of these specialized tutorers and these specialized prep classes, it can be hard. Yeah, I mean, the issue is that not all schools are created equal. So you can be working hard and be in a certain school, and then you get to college um, and you find yourself unprepared. Okay. And so some students are making bad choices in the midst of a stressful situation. And some this parents. Is, and Wait. some parents. This is uh, 21st century cheating, right? Yeah. Using the internet. It's been around forever. Yeah. I have, you know, in my time, people wrote on their hands, right? Now we have the internet, so we can just do it with more technology. Um, but we're also seeing technology being used to try to yeah. counter. Yeah. Um, that so we see uh, services like turnitin.com which can spot plagiarism oh. but this is someone writing it from scratch for you much harder to detect well thank you for your insight I love the good old days when you can thank you write it on your hand oh, I love it the good old days when I had my little answer on my hand and then you wipe with the sweat you know what you did don't I love the high road but let's keep it real I'm sorry.